The old man was preparing to shave, but to his surprise, the razor wouldn't budge. Little did he know, the foam on his beard had hardened like a rock. Ed was puzzled, and upon examining the shaving cream, he discovered that his grandson had replaced it with foam adhesive. Ed was furious, attempting to peel off the sealant from his face, but it remained stubborn. Unable to remove it, Ed started throwing punches left and right, hoping to break it. At that moment, his son-in-law walked in, and saw Ed using his fist on his own face. When Ed turned around, his towel slipped down, the son-in-law wondered why his father-in-law wasn't wearing anything. Later that night, as Ed went to bed, he felt something was off. Upon lifting the blanket, he discovered a snake inside. Terrified, Ed retreated, and in panic, he jumped out of the window. Unfortunately, he slipped, and his son-in-law, who was getting some milk, witnessed the whole scene. It turned out to be a prank by his grandson. A few days earlier, Ed had suddenly moved into his daughter's house, taking over Chris' room and forcing him to move to the attic. The next day, Chris challenged Ed and demanded he return the room. Initially, Ed didn't take it seriously. However, the following day, before he could get out of bed, a remote-controlled car sneaked in, startling Ed and causing him to tumble. Consequently, he signed a peace treaty with Chris, and Ed simply listened to some music. The record spun faster, and the next moment, it turned out to be a prank by the grandson. Unexpectedly, while Ed was sound asleep, Chris used a stick to trigger the emergency call system, and an ambulance immediately roared in, crashing through the door. Ed, thinking it was a robbery, struggled desperately, and the doctor, assuming he was seriously ill, rushed forward and administered a tranquilizer, causing him to yell in pain. He arrived at Chris' room, and Chris, cleverly placing a piece of paper on her foot to check for any intruders, noticed Ed. Upon seeing the intact paper, Chris felt reassured, but when he entered to place his backpack, the desk collapsed, and the gaming chair he Saturday on also gave way. He realized he had fallen victim to Ed's pranks. The next day, Ed attended a funeral and stood mourning in front of the coffin. Suddenly, a cell phone rang, leaving everyone stunned. Anxious, Ed fumbled to retrieve his phone, but accidentally dropped it into the coffin. It then slid into the man's trousers. He opened the coffin lid, took out the phone, leaving the elderly lady bewildered, and hurriedly left. The following day, during lunch at school, the school bully found Chris and asked to check his backpack for something tasty. When the backpack was opened, the bully got sprayed in the face with hot sauce, and Chris ended up getting beaten. Soon after, the birthday party officially began, decorated in a Christmas theme. Meanwhile, a little mouse at home bit through the wires, climbing up a ladder to investigate, and accidentally got electrocuted, fell, and... triggered a chain reaction, just as the Christmas tree was about to fall, Ed leaped to rescue Chris, but got hit by the falling tree himself, resulting in multiple superficial abrasions. After everything was sorted out, Chris realized his mistake and decided to apologize to Ed. However, when he opened the door, Ed was nowhere to be found, and his belongings were gone. Chris found Ed and sincerely apologized, promising not to cause trouble anymore. Finally, the grandfather and grandson reconciled.